We are about to head out on our first golf crossing. I have some sailors here on my boat that were requesting some local knowledge. We're balancing leaving at a high enough tide with getting in at a high enough tide. That's quite windy still, huh? Ooh, yeah, it is. Last time on Sailing Solianus, we took delivery of our solar panels, slapped two of them on the Dodger, then left Mobile, Alabama in our wake. It feels new. It feels slightly weird. It's been so long. We are ripping downwind under Genoa alone, doing seven knots, pretty much sustained, surfing at eight with about 16 knots of wind right now. This is a fantastic way to start our new sailing adventures down here in the salt water. After sailing across Mobile Bay, we popped into the ICW. We are pulling into Pirate's Cove right now. And I traded places with Kirk's dad for the day so they could have a father-son trip to Pensacola. We're just ghosting downwind, doing four and a half knots and about eight knots of wind. Beautiful, flat, calm, cruising down the ICW. Having a good time. So here we are in Jimmy Buffett's Waterlands. Perdido Bay on the way to Pensacola. What do you have to say for yourself, Pops? I'm just soaking in the beautiful sunny day. Remember, was it just past that big motorboat or just before? My dad and I met up with Lauren and my mom, and the four of us navigated the boat through a tiny channel into a slip next to Peg Leg Pete's, where my parents had rented the Airbnb upstairs. Time for a drink? Cheers. To the islands. Right now, Kirk is tapping a couple of new screw holes in our boom so that we can attach some blocks so that we can more easily adjust our lazy jacks. Exciting stuff. Hello, hey, there's a beautiful sunset behind you. Mm -hmm. That's quite beautiful. The next day, we left the boat snug in her slip and jumped in my parents' rental car to check out Destin. We weren't sure if we wanted to stop there with the boat because the inlet looked pretty tough to get into. We figured maybe we could seek out some local knowledge and see the town if we decided to sail on by. So what are you thinking? We've been trying to figure out for the last couple of days if we should stop in Destin or if we should continue on over to Panama City Beach, which would be a 90 mile trip, which would be an overnight for a first sail on the Gulf versus stopping here, which would just be a long day. 
But the problem we have is it's a really shallow entrance to Destin Harbor and it's a really shallow exit through the little tiny channel that we're docked at right now. So we're balancing leaving at a high enough tide with getting in at a high enough tide and not getting in so late that it's gonna be dark when we're navigating this really tight channel to come in here and then anchoring in a marina or a harbor that we don't really know in the dark. <laughs> In the end, we figured, why risk it? Might as well do the longer sail into the safer pass. After spending three months stationary, the last thing we wanted was to find bottom, possibly cause damage, and end our sailing adventure when it was just getting started. We are about to head out on our first golf crossing. Well, it's not really a crossing. Adventure. Sure. It's a gorgeous day. The wind is starting to blow. It is. They're saying 13 to 18 knots from the northwest. The waves are only, they said, three to five feet. But that's 20 miles out. We're not going out quite that far. So I'm hoping we're going to have some pretty sweet, calm water, fast sailing downwind. We just got to get out of this tiny little hole that we're in. We're tucked away in a little channel inside Pensacola Bay. And we got to head six or seven miles out to the pass. Pass to get out and to the golf. We hang a U turn and back head track. back east towards Panama <laughs> City Beach. Man, that's shallow. Channel's wide open. I was a little too close on that side last time. Yeah. Right yeah, that was turn. that was good. The lowest I saw was five three right here. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go to Cancun, Cozumel, Havana? We can go anywhere now. Hey guys, I think there's two or three. Love. Some special treats. Mm. They're quite good. Pretzels and sea salt. Can I have one? What, you want to split it? Sure. Really? There you go. We are doing 7-4. 5. Seven, 8. SOG or through the water? SOG. Okay. Through the water is 6.7. So it's about 10 minutes before sunset. Yeah. We just put in our second reef for the night so that hopefully it would keep things a little bit slower and calmer. 
because uh, we're still seeing 20 knot gusts. I don't really want to be going up on the foredeck in the pitch black dark because it is not quite a new moon, but it is, we're like four or five days away, so we're not going to have much light out here tonight. It's going to be pretty dark. We've been cruising along all day, uh, probably have an average speed of well over six knots, probably closer to seven. And our boat really only wants to do about six and a half through the water, but we've been regularly seeing seven and a half and eight over ground. So either just with the following winds, uh, which give us a little extra surface current or something, we've picked up about an extra knot, knot and a half this whole trip. We should be into Panama City Beach like 1 a.m. We were kind of thinking we'd be there at like 6 a.m. Actually go to sleep and then we're getting another 50 miles along the panhandle. Highlight of the day was the dolphins dancing on the bow wave. Yeah. Probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's a sun behind you. Oh, that's gonna be a good sunset. It is. Wow, look at that. Like watercolors. That's quite windy still, huh? Yeah, it is. feels a lot lighter now though, doesn't it? Oh, it's not yeah. weather helming so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's because we had so much headsail and so little mainsail up. Yeah, I think I like pulled a tendon. Yeah, maybe. This shoulder like cranking on the helm trying to... It was pretty tough. I was cranking on it too. Keep my course. certainly wake us up. We're about to embark on the longest open water crossing we've done yet. That's a big one right there. Uh, are we even halfway yet? No. <laughs>